Minute Fridays. I'm just about to start my five minute workout for today. This is another body weight workout, no equipment necessary. And there are timestamps in the description box down below the video. So if you would like to skip straight ahead to the workout, you can do that. If you would like to see the exercises demonstrated and explained before we begin, let's go ahead and get into that. Right now, there are just five body weight exercises and the first two exercises are squat variations. So let's start by talking about the correct form for your squats. The first thing I want you to do is visualize tucking your shoulder blades into your back pockets. So shoulders are gonna be back and down. That's gonna help keep your chest lifted high. Now tighten up your abs. Make sure your core is tight and strong and engaged the whole time. The next thing I want you to visualize is trying to touch the wall behind you with your booty because when you do that, that's going to help keep your back flat and the weight in your heels, which is what we want. And then from this position is where you can sink down into your squat. Then I want you to think of actively pressing the ground away. So push those heels into the ground, press the ground away and stand. That's a basic air squat. The first squat variation we're going to do is just little, little mini squat pulses. So shoulders back and down, tuck the shoulder blades into the back pockets, chest is high, core is engaged. Tighten up those abs, push the booty back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you with your booty, sink down into your squat, keeping your back flat and the weight in your heels. And then from here, we're just going to pulse. So instead of coming all the way back up to a standing position, returning to your starting position, you're just gonna come up about halfway and pulse like this. All right, that's the first exercise. The second exercise is also a squat variation. We're doing squat jumps or jump squats. First you squat, then you jump. So shoulders back and down, chest is high, core is engaged, booty goes back, flat back, weight in the heels, sink down into your squat. And now pressing those heels into the ground, push the ground away and you're going to jump up. Just propel yourself up into the air as high as you can and that's a jump squat, okay? Squat and jump. That's the first two exercises. The third exercise is going to be a side lunge with a jump up. So with your lunges, it's gonna be the same principle. Shoulders are back and down. So start by tucking the shoulder blades into the back pockets. Keep that chest lifted high, tighten up the abs, keep the core tight and engaged. You're gonna push your booty back. And as you sink into your lunge, your back is going to stay flat and the weight is going to stay in the heel of this standing leg, okay? So see how my booty is going back, my back is flat, and the weight is in this heel. So let me show you from the front. I'm going to step one foot up to the side, and I'm going to bend this knee and lean back, trying to touch this gate behind me with my booty. My back is flat, my weight is in the heel of this standing leg. Now I'm going to actively press the heel of this standing foot into the ground, and I'm going to again jump up. As I do that, this leg that's straight, is going to come up in front of me and I'm going to drive the knee up as high as I can. So lunge and jump, lunge and jump. Just like that. The next exercise, I call them reptile push-ups. I know a lot of people call them Spider-Man push-ups, but to me, Spider-Man push-up is a completely different exercise. I call these reptile push-ups. So whatever you call them, this is what they look like. First of all, let me just Go over the proper form for your push-ups in general because you really can do any push-up variation you want, but regardless of which push-up variation you choose, it's very important that you're minding your form. So starting with just a standard push-up, what you're going to do is bend your elbows and lower your chest to the ground. When I say your chest, I mean your chest and only your chest. So you don't want to allow your hips to drop like this you don't want your knees, you don't want your hips, you don't want your belly ever touching the ground. Keep your hips lifted high, and in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to really tighten up those abs and engage your core. If your hips are slightly elevated, that's not terrible. You're not going to hurt your back doing that. As long as your back is flat, I'm not too mad about it. And it will actually make the push-ups a bit easier to have your hips slightly elevated. So it's not ideal. Ideally, you want your body in one straight line from your heels to your shoulders, but if your hips are slightly elevated, don't worry too much about that. The thing you really don't wanna do is to allow your hips to drop like this. Do you see how my back is arched? That's not good for your back. 
So tighten up those abs, keep your hips lifted high and lower your chest and only your chest as low as you can to the ground. Now you're going to actively push the ground away. So pressing your palms into the ground and push yourself back up and return to your starting position. The other thing you don't want to do is to move your head. So don't lower your forehead to the ground. If you are not able to lower your chest all the way to the ground, that's fine. Just lower your chest as low to the ground as you can. If you're only able to get halfway down, then that's fine, you can shorten up your range of motion. Just lower your chest as low to the ground as you can without breaking that straight line from your heels to your shoulders. So if you can only come here, then just come here. Then press those palms into the ground, push the ground away and push yourself back up. But if you can only come here, don't try to compensate for the fact that you're not getting your chest down to the ground by lowering your hips or your belly down to the ground or by lowering your forehead to the ground. So just keep your body in one straight line from your heels to your shoulders. Keep your head still, keep those hips, hips lifted high. Make sure your core is engaged. Really tighten up those abs. And of course, if you're doing knee push-ups, that straight line is from your knees to your shoulders. But other than that, all of the same principles apply. So any push-up variation you want to do is fine. Just please mind your form. For my push-up variation, I'm going to be tucking one knee to the side as I sink down into my push-up. And then I'm going to straighten the leg as I push myself back up. So it's going to look like this. I'm starting here in my plank position. As I bend my elbows and lower my chest to the ground, I'm going to pick up one foot and bend the leg, bringing the knee towards the elbow on that same side like this. And then as I push the ground away and push myself back up, I'm going to straighten the leg and return to my starting position and we'll alternate sides. So now with my next strap, other side, bend the knee, bring it to the elbow on the same side on the way down, straighten the leg on the way up, and return to the starting position. So I call those reptile push-ups, you can call them Spider-Man push-ups, whatever you call them. That is the push-up variation that I'm doing, but again, you can do any push-up variation that works for you. The fifth and final exercise is jump tucks. So all you're going to do is jump as high as you can and drive your knees up as high as you can towards your chest like this. And make sure that you are landing softly on the balls of your feet, okay? You don't wanna come down on your heel. That can be really jarring for your joints. So jump up as high as you can, drive the knees up as high as you can towards your chest and land softly on the balls of your feet. So that's all five exercises. Now here's the format. My timer is set to count down five minutes for me. We are going to start with round one, doing one rep of each of those five exercises I just showed you. So round one is going to look like this. We're going to do one mini squat pulse. Then we're going to do one squat jump. Then we're going to do one side lunge with a jump up on each side. So now other side, lunge, and jump. Then we're going to do a total of two reptile push-ups, one on each side. So you'll come down and do one reptile push-up on each side, jump or step the feet back in, and then one jump tuck. That's round one. With each subsequent round, we will add on one rep of each exercise. So round two, you'll do two mini squat pulses and then two squat jumps, two side lunge and jump up on one side, then two reps of our side lunge and jump up exercise on the other side, a total of four reptile push-ups, two on each side, and then two jump tucks. And we'll just keep going. So with round three, you'll do three reps of everything. Round four, you'll do four reps of everything. And we'll just see how far we can get before our five minutes is up. Remember that I always take the time to type out the instructions in the description box down below the video. And you're going to watch me do it right now. So watch me do it. Read the instructions. But then, of course, as always, if there are any questions about the format and how everything fits together, I'm right here to help. So please just ask. I am also here to help if you have any questions about the exercises we are doing today or any doubts at all about how to do them with the correct form. It's very important that you understand how to do the exercises correctly before you begin the workout so that you reduce your risk of injury and also just so that you make sure you're getting the maximum benefit out of each exercise. 
So if you have any doubts about how to do the exercises correctly, please just reach out. I'm always here to help with that. It is also extremely important to me that all of my workouts are always accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them with me. I am always here to help facilitate that. So if you need help with beginner modifications, please don't hesitate to reach out. I am always here to help. So if you have questions or if you need help, ask. So if you are ready to go ahead and start this workout, grab an exercise mat or a towel if you need one. If you're doing push-ups from your knees and you need something soft underneath your knees, take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up. And when you're ready, let's get started. All right, this one's gonna be super short, obviously, but it's also gonna be really, really tough. Let's push hard and see how many rounds we can get through. But please remember to go at your own pace and do not sacrifice your form for speed. All right, so here we go. We are starting with a 10 second rest interval, just so we have a few seconds to get ready. And we are starting with one rep of everything. So just do your best, go at your own pace and mind your form. So one squat pulse, one squat jump, one side lunge with a jump up, other side lunge and jump. One reptile push up on each side. And one jump tuck, now right into round two. So one, two, squat jump, one, two, Side lunge and jump up. That's one and two. Other side. One and two. Now two push ups on each side. One, one, two, two. Two jump tucks. One and two. Round three. So three mini squat pulses. And now three squat jumps. One, two, three, lunge and jump. Two, three, other side. Lunge, jump, two, three. Three push-ups on each side. One, one. Two, two, three, three. Three jump tucks. One, two, three. Round four. Pulse, two, three, four. Now squat jump. Two, three, and four. Lunge and jump. Two, three, and four. Other leg. One, two, three, and four. Push-offs. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, and four. Jump tucks. One, two, Three, four, round five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, four, and five, one, one, two, Five. 
three, four, and five. We have 20 seconds left. Let's start round six. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six. Now squat and jump. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's our five minutes. We're done. Good job. That was a really tough five minutes. We are not quite finished yet. No workout of mine is ever complete, even if it's only just five minutes long until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left to go, but first, it is time for the McFlurry Minute. I'm going to reset my timer to count down 60 seconds for me. I'm going to jump rope for 60 seconds, completing as many revolutions with my jump rope as I can. And if I can make it through the entire 60 second work interval without tripping over my jump rope, everybody wins a free McFlurry. So give me just a minute to reset my timer. I will be right back. All right, my timer has been reset. I have the lovely Victoria with me again today. Victoria is my beautiful silver jump rope with the pretty light pink metallic handles. And for those of you who have asked me where I get my jump ropes, I will leave a link and a coupon code in the description box down below the video. So click on the link and use coupon code RUDEBECCA to save an additional 10%. We have a streak going of three successful McFlurry minutes in a row. We are trying to make it four in a row today. So we are starting as always with a 10 second rest interval. And now you guys, it is already starting to really warm up out here. So I'm going to do my best to get us all some free ice cream today. Here we go. Enjoyed this one. I hope you liked it too. If you did this little five minute workout with me, 
me today. Thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. And even if you are not doing the workouts with me, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your wonderful and supportive and engaging comments. It truly does mean the world to me. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And of course, a great big thank you to those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for years. Please know that I appreciate you all so very much. One final reminder that if anything is unclear with the format, if you have any questions about the exercises we were doing today, any doubts at all about how to do the exercises with the correct form, or if you need help with beginner modifications, please just ask. If you enjoy these five minute workouts and you would like to see more of them, please remember that I have an entire playlist of five minute workouts on my channel. I will link it right there. And we will be continuing to do these five minute Fridays for the foreseeable future. So I will be continuing to bring you at least one new five minute workout each week. That is gonna do it for today and I will see you all next time, bye.